So I thought I'd make a quick video here. Um, obviously we're doing brakes. This is on a 2020 Hyundai Palisade with the electronic e-brake on the back. So I'm not gonna show the whole brake job because if you don't know how to do brakes, you shouldn't be doing this either. But uh, I hope the wind's not gonna be too much of an issue. It's a little bit windy here today. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, service this caliper. So how to push back the um, electronic e-brake caliper without a diagnostic tool because Hyundai didn't put a service mode in uh, the vehicle settings. Most cars have it or they have a procedure to put it into service mode. This vehicle does not. So I'm going to show you two different ways. I'm going to show you one way and I'm going to explain the second way to do this task. So obviously we have everything apart. We unplugged the sensor here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hook up our little power probe to one of the alligator clips is going to go to that and the power of the power probe is going to go to the other terminal right so one on each terminal make sure they don't touch um and then we'll see what happens there so we have our power probe hooked up okay got our little alligator clip on one we'll put it on the lower one just like that just like that We'll grab our upper one to the top one, okay. And now we're gonna walk over and see what happens. See how it didn't move at all? That's a good thing. If it starts moving outwards, you gotta reverse your clips, okay? If it's not moving at all and you just hear the like motor going, I'm gonna turn off the sound there, but if you just hear the motor going like this, that's a good thing. So we're gonna do that right until that caliper starts. Ooh, so you see, I am going outwards. There we go. All right, that's what I thought. The other side was flipped as well. So I'm gonna flip this, we'll get back to it. All right, so having the alligator clip on top was a little difficult to record. So I didn't record it, but anyways, in my situation, the alligator clip for the ground went on top and my power was on the bottom. And you go and you and you hold that power and you'll hear it going back. It's gonna take like 20 seconds and it starts twisting. And once it starts twisting, you stop. Now we're free to push this straight back in. All right, so let's do that. And then I'll explain the second method. All right, now that we have that piston pushed back, We'll explain the second method here. So we got two Allen keys right here and right there. Super easy to take off. When you take those two Allen keys apart or off, sorry, you pull the whole electronic portion of this caliper off. Inside you'll see, I, I believe it's a triple square, right? Or an inverted uh, torque, but I'm pretty sure it's a triple square. I, I'm, I'm sure it has more teeth um than a torque and what you're going to want to do once you separate the motor you'll see the motor has those teeth on it leave that to the side then you're going to put that same triple square in here okay and you're going to turn it and it's either going to be clockwise or counterclockwise again watch your piston if you're turning it clockwise and it's going outwards do a counterclockwise and vice versa when you see which way it's going you turn it a bit you push it a bit you turn it a bit, you push it a bit. Keep an eye and make sure these should go back like butter, right? So if it's giving you any sort of resistance whatsoever, stop, right? I like this way better just because it's a lot faster. Gives you a huge telltale when it's all the way back. Super easy, super fast. If you don't have access to a power probe, it doesn't have to be a power probe. You can have any two wires connected to any battery. This is just the easiest for me. And... If you wanna do it that way, I prefer the way I did it, but this is another way you can do it without using electronics, right? All mechanical. Bring that back, push your caliper in, change your brakes out, put it back together, plug it in, and then we'll go into the car and I'll show you the procedure to get that e-brake seated again up against the car. All right, now we're all done and back in the car. 
We're gonna start the car up. Do your standard brake pedal pump until she gets a little stiff. Now we're just gonna actuate and deactuate, I guess, the e-brake a few times, listening closely. So that one took a little, bring it off. That one went a little faster. Pump the brake a little more. And that one seemed normal. And now you go on your regular test drive. So what we're gonna do, put it in drive. Make sure you got your brakes right away. Okay, so we got brakes. Now let's put the e-brake on. Let go of the the pedal, the brake pedal. You see we're not moving, which means our e-brake works and you're ready for your test drive. Test drive went great. Uh, no noises, nothing felt weird. Uh, e-brake actuates, everything feels smooth. Uh, again, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints for future videos, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm always open to any sort of criticism, whatever you guys need to know. Uh, again, thank you for watching, guys, and I hope this helped you guys out and saved you a few bucks from going to the dealership for no reason. Have a good day.